Alright guys, hey welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the colors that we're going to be using for this nail tutorial. So I want to show you guys really quickly the illustration that I thought up. So this is going to be Tim Burton's Give It That 90s Vibe, but 90s Vibe in terms of tones. I don't know about you guys, but when I was little, my mama gave me a color that was similar to this. So it was kind of like a, kind of a purpley, mm, mauve sort of situation. And then the red, it was red with little sparkles. So that to me, it's a little personal, but it's still a little fun incorporating it with Tim Burton vibes for Halloween. So with that being said, this one is going to be really easy, really easy to attain, uh, really fun to create. And the best part is Tim Burton's lines. If you're not familiar with Tim Burton's movies, please go watch them as soon as possible. Now, after this video, go, 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 go. His lines are very edgy, not straight. They're very like crooked. They're very weird and distorted. And there's something beautiful about that. So the perk for us is that we don't have to worry about our lines being perfect. We got that going on. And I wanted to create kind of this vortex kind of going around in circle, never ending, something spoopy to that degree. But I also wanted to make it fun and we're gonna go ahead and add, da, 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 let me show you guys the colors. So this is the lineup. The lineup we got colors, the base of your choosing. I got uñas de cero. This one, not that easy to attain, but you could order it online. I always leave it down below. Or you can also use another one that I love to use, Rebuild, when my nails are feeling a little bit less than optimal. So it strengthens weak nails and for thin nails, really good all around. This one is also by Sesha Vit, I recommend. Then we're moving on to black. Now I found the perfect black. I've had this one and I forgot about it and I did a cleanse last night and I was like, I know I have it and I found it. So we're gonna be working with Cirque's black. So this one is called Momento Mori. So this is the blackest black that I have personally used. It's amazing, it's a one quart, one quarter, one coater black. So if you like that, take this one. Then we're gonna use OPI's Alpine Snow. I used that in the previous video. It's basic white, you can see it over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Zoya's Blaze, and that one is the one that's gonna give me the close color that I want. I'll show a little close up over here. So it kind of gives it that little vibe that's a uh, 90s for me, and you'll be able to see it a little more. Look at that! Oof, so beautiful. Then we got Miss Ruby Ruby Pump. So this is a little one by China Glaze. Amazing color. Also correlates to the 90s for me. So I really like that. And that way it's similar to Blaze, but it's not identical, which gives it a little something to look at. Now this nail is going to be for other people too that don't want crazy illustrations on their nails, but they want a little something and they want to be in the spirit. So this is just for you. It'll work great for both long nails and short nails. So that was the perk because a lot of you guys said on my Instagram that you guys wanted for short nails. So I got you too. We're gonna go ahead and move with Hollow Taco. Hollow Taco, this is a scattered, beautiful, you'll see it in the video, it's a beautiful, 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 uh, hollow scattered. So you'll see it all around, and that one I just mostly want for the black hole, let's say, the never ending circle here, and a little bit in between the lines to give it a little pop when you have it on, because this tutorial for the nails is gonna be completely, completely gloss. Top coat is gonna be gloss, no matte here. And then, what else? Oh yeah, so post, we got the Sesha V top coat and a cuticle oil as per usual. And the tools, we're gonna be using a detail brush if you have one, or I'm gonna be using this one, which is kind of a striper brush. So it has the white, and then for the black, I'll be using this one because I don't have any black stripers. And without further ado, I hope you guys like it and enjoy the video. Let's go back to the big screen.